We're about to start our lunch presentation. For those of you who uh, are still eating, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we have, as the Dean mentioned, we have a fast-moving railroad train. So feel free to continue to eat and, uh, and enjoy your, your beverages and so forth. We will conclude our lunch presentation with about 10 to 15 minutes before the panel starts at 1. So you will have more time to mingle a bit before the next presentation. It's my great pleasure to introduce our lunch uh, presentation. Professor Celia Roman has divided her professional time between teaching and researching in the areas of human rights and methods used to combat terrorism, such as torture, and also working as an assistant federal public defender. Professor Michael P. O'Connor has studied and written about terrorism and of efforts to combat it since the late 1980s, living and conducting field research in Northern Ireland and in the Mideast. Together, Ms. Roman and Mr. O'Connor authored a 2003 article titled Into the Fire, How to Avoid Being Burned by the Same Mistakes Made Fighting Terrorism in Northern Ireland, which examined Great Britain's use of torture, detention without trial, and other abusive interrogation procedures in Northern Ireland. They also co-authored Going, Going, Gone, Sealing the Fate of the Fourth Amendment, another 2003 law journal article published in the Fordham International Law Journal. That article addressed the dangerous relationship between FISA and the Patriot Act before the Bush administration's surveillance policies became commonly understood. I think you're going to find the lunch presentation very engaging, and they're going to tell you about the Northern Ireland experience with terrorism and what we have learned about that experience. Please welcome Professors Roman and O'Connor. Thank you. Um, I just want to uh, first thank Dean Romig uh, and Lynn Gehring and the uh, Washburn Law Journal staff uh, for inviting us. This is. Uh, started out to be such a, a wonderful uh, conference and, and um, we're both really uh, honored to have been uh, asked to participate in it. Uh, the, uh, this talk is based, uh, um, as, um, as Lynn suggested, on a, a study that uh, Professor Ruman and I did um, in Northern Ireland. Um, and um, I'll just give you a little background about um, kind of how we got uh, interested uh, in, in um, looking at this topic. Um, Professor Ruman is, is an Irish citizen, uh, and my family is all, my grandparents were all born in Ireland. Uh, and most of my family is law enforcement for, in New York City. Uh, and um, my cousins it was, and uncles, it was always interesting to me growing up uh, to hear them, uh, very much law and order type people, um, who when, when the, the IRA would come up, would begin to talk about uh, the uh, injustice of the use of the law against uh, some of the people who were um, routinely described, uh, and often correctly so, as terrorists. Um, but these law enforcement personnel would, would suddenly look very differently uh, at um, people uh, who the greater society was labeling uh, as terrorists. Uh, and it really was kind of a, um, a dissonance for me um, in, in hearing that and trying to figure out, well, what's going on uh, here that, that um, these uh, people are being called terrorists uh, by uh, most people and yet uh, I see uh, family members who are themselves law enforcement uh, talking about them in a very different way. It began to get me interested in certainly what the law was, uh, um, how was the law being used and what were we using, um, what did it mean to label somebody uh, as a terrorist and um, how might labeling them and changing the application of the law create attitudes uh, in a community that might in fact uh, affect um, what we do uh, and how successful we are at stopping uh, violence. Um, and we talked about this um, uh, a, a number of times and, and we're fortunate enough to um, have the opportunity to go to Ireland um, for a year to, to, to study 
uh, there to, to teach uh, as well, but to, um, to spend some time really getting into um, the issues uh, concerning how Britain used the law uh, and different tactics uh, in Northern Ireland in order to combat political violence. And um, Dean Romig's comments this morning, um, you uh, addressed one of the, uh, in fact, the two questions that we asked in the beginning of our study uh, is, uh, were the efforts that we were going to make in, to combat terrorism here, uh, were they necessary and were they effective? And, and what we wanted to do was look at what was done in Northern Ireland and ask those questions about it and then try to see if we could draw uh, some uh, conclusions that might be helpful uh, in a context outside of, uh, of Northern Ireland. Uh, and one of the things that um, I think um, uh, it was very uh, uh, instructive for me to hear um, uh, General Petraeus in a BBC interview uh, not too long ago talk about Northern Ireland uh, in a way that um, said that we can learn uh, a lot of lessons about what was done in Northern Ireland in, in talking about the, um, the conflict in Iraq uh, and what exactly that there are, there are certain things that we can in fact uh, extrapolate from, from the uh, Northern Irish experience uh, about um, what may be uh, appropriate uh, to do uh, in a situation that on, on its surface might appear very, very uh, different. Um, well, we went, um, we, as I said, we went over to, uh, to Ireland and, and, and did a lot of, of, of research there. We looked at um, one of the great things about studying um, the conflict in Northern Ireland is that the British keep very good records um, and have documented much of what's gone on there over the last uh, 35, uh, nearly 40 years. Um, and we had um, just, uh, you know, volumes and volumes of raw data that we could go through that was collected by the government, that was collected by human rights groups uh, in, in, in Northern Ireland. Uh, government statistics that were uh, periodically uh, compiled uh, and published, and then a, a, um, a, a number of studies uh, that um, the British would commission to see how they were doing uh, with the implementation of various uh, um, you know, tactics uh, to combat political violence. And in particular, um, what we were, were, um, we were focusing on, um, you know, a fairly broad range, but um, like what we have done, um, uh, the British uh, used um, extensively detention without trial uh, and um, harsh interrogation methods, sometimes amounting to torture, and sometimes uh, amounting to um, uh, either, do you want to call it the uh, euphemism of enhanced interrogation uh, or cruel and inhumane uh, treatment. 